Hello YouTube, this is Puck. Today I want to talk about the Connexant HD audio driver. You know, it's an audio driver that you may find in old laptops that are still pretty good, such as this L100 from Toshiba. It has this driver, this Connexant driver, and out of nothing, in fact, today I restarted my machine and I got a problem. What was the case? Well, the case was that... Um, I installed Windows and of course I went to the site of Toshiba to get the audio driver. I got the driver. I did not install the driver from out the setup. What I did was uh, I went into Device Manager and I just pointed to the folder where I knew the driver was in. So it installed the driver fine. But then I wanted to record a video in Camtasia and I already started up Camtasia and I was getting no microphone sound. The sound was working fine, but I had no microphone sound. So I thought maybe some part is not installed of the driver. So I run the setup of that file. After running that setup of that file, you know, I got device driver, uh, well, in fact, nothing happened because I had to reboot the system to let the changes uh, uh, take place. But I did not and I just kept working and, you know, I went to bed, turned off the machine. And today when I turned it on, you know, it said no audio driver. So I just pointed again to the folder and uh, it said, well, uh, the driver could not be started. Driver could not disk, driver could not that. So um, I went and looked for Connexent HD drivers updated, you know, and then I found some Lenovo driver, but then again, it could not install the driver. So I went searching even further, found another driver for uh, Windows 7 and Vista, installed the driver, run the setup, nada. First pointed to the driver, nada. Uh, install the driver with administrator rights nada so this is a brand new system you know it's it's fully genuine let me show it to you Toshiba L100 you know um, and this is the problem you see HD audio driver has a problem you see not fixed and there's no way to fix it I went to uh, um, to Microsoft and even downloaded uh, Microsoft fix for drivers that you know have a problem it's called uh, well there it's called Microsoft fix it device run you see so in fact now uh, I will have to do in fact to do it right you know a complete reinstall of Windows cause this uh, is not uh, it's not possible to fix this driver cause I messed up Something went terribly wrong and there is no way for me to, you know, to get this audio driver back to work. You know, you see this HD audio driver, it could not be run, could not be start, could not be nothing. You see there, if I go to update driver, browse my computer for drivers, you know, then I have uh, this driver, even though if I hit fix it you see it will try to install the driver but it will not work it will tell me um yeah no worky worky so in fact uh the only way to fix this system is to create or to go back to a system restore point that we had uh, when everything was still working fine but even that was not possible because the system is so young that it's impossible to have you know everything went really fast you see Windows encountered a problem Windows found driver software for your device but encountered an error while attempting to install it you see so something is terribly wrong here and the only way that I can fix it peeps to tell you the truth is to do a complete new reinstall of uh, my Windows uh, 7 because that will be the only way to install it. So how to install Windows 7 
without losing any file because I still have some files on here that I really would like to keep. <laughs> yeah, my funny faces there, my emotions of my PC, my cup of coffee and some other stuff. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do a reinstall beside uh, this Windows, you know, and just then uh, get all the files back. Popping in the stick but then again um, I will have to do everything again and also uh, register the windows again you know but I don't think that is a problem this is a fully genuine system and um, yeah well let's do it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna kill the beats one two three four five six seven eight nine boom that so now we're gonna go this is the toshiba l100 so you know um what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit f2 because if you hit f12 the boots uh the boot selector will not show the usb stick and you will be like this thing cannot boot from usb but it can just go to the hd hit it and there you see the tdk hit f6 put it on top hit f10 and you're ready to go so now it will boot from the stick and uh, well I don't want to lose the files that I have on this machine because I will you know make the machine machine just the way it was but then with the working sound and I'm gonna show you in this video how to deal with this with this driver because this driver is it's it's a terrible driver in fact you can screw it up if you um, point to it and you know if it works then it works then you should not uh, touch it anymore or install any driver to it anymore maybe uh, Windows will then find a better driver uh, from the Windows update you know to yeah to get things going so that is really a pity uh, of this Connexent, uh yeah driver in fact because it's not supported anymore and uh, well what I'm gonna do is a fast reinstall but let's go to the point where um, where we will have to choose to uh, to install Windows By the way, uh, the sound in Windows 10 was also not found out of the box. I just installed the XP driver as I said uh, before. Just pointed uh, to the driver folder and it start installing. So that all went just fantastic. And then you should not touch the driver anymore. Don't run setups that are in the driver folder because that will 100% kill your machine so I have a professional professional license for this machine so we're gonna hit uh, advanced and up here what we're gonna do you see this hundred megabyte here yeah we can delete it you see we delete it and then we in we select the 74 gigabyte when we hit next it will say that the partition you know has windows uh, files blah 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 it will be moved to a folder named windows old you know and then we will be able to get our folders and files out of that uh, folder i mean like our files out of that folder and then uh, with uh, clean up the hard drive we will then also remove the old windows so we will also be having more space on that drive so um don't forget uh if you uh get to the part that you that windows is installed you know and it asks for the serial number don't forget to insert the serial number immediately you know and not afterwards you know um that it will show 30 days trial insert your ser uh, serial number immediately so Microsoft you know will also see that this machine bloody blah, blah the windows belongs with this machine so then it will be registered so without you having to call Microsoft etc and we are installed preparing the desktop
Okay, we also activated uh, Windows. Activation was successful. So now that we are activated, we go to right mouse click. Let's get some icons on the desktop. There we go. One, two, three, four. So, and now we will go to the my computer and I'm gonna show you your files. Here they are, you see that? Windows old, see that peeps? And then users and then Toshiba. There you go, downloads. We just select them all and put them in downloads of our new windows. We go to my documents, the sound driver and Camtasia Studio. We will put them into our documents. We hit back, we hit my music, dreamed up, put it in my music. And then we go to my pictures. I have one Azure and the background picture. We put it in there. And then we go to my videos and here I have some videos, put them in my videos. And of course, we will go to our desktop. Cannot forget about that because up here we have some stuff that we would like to see on our desktop again. So now we're coming back to this Connect Sound Driver because that is what this video is all about. As you could see, these are the steps you have you will have to take to you know fix it for once and for good as you can see everything is installed here but only the connect sound driver is not installed so let's install it real fast we're gonna say update driver you know browse my computer for driver and then we go to our desktop here this sound driver here and then we hit next and there you go baby sound driver is being installed and this was not possible anymore because we wronged the setup from, uh, here you go, Windows has successfully updated your driver and we have now sound baby, there you go. You see that? So we fixed the sound again. So now at this point, you know, you can better, you know, delete this driver, you know, don't go, well, you can put it in somewhere there in Toshiba you know don't look at it never run a setup of an old driver you know if you have an old driver audio driver the thing was made don't run this this thing here this setup don't you run it let me delete these two setups there delete it yes don't you ever run it because this is only thing what you need you don't need anything else so here in documents this sound drive I'm gonna delete it just in case you know no need to run it. This driver is now working fine. You see the connect sound, it's working again. And this is how to fix it. And you saw that we needed a complete new reinstall. Well, not a problem if you uh, don't have so much installed yet, but a bigger problem if you have a complete Windows with lots of things on it. But then again, you could see that we could get all our files back. So you have a brand new, oh yeah, let me show you real fast how to remove the old windows. What we're gonna do, right mouse click on uh, your C drive and then properties and then disk clean up, okay? Disk clean up and let's wait for this process to finish. Okay, welcome back, here you can see uh, this box will pop up if you do uh, disk cleanup, but this is in fact not what we need because we don't see our Windows files in here. So how to see our Windows files, the old Windows, because you cannot go and just go to there and then say delete. This will not work. You cannot delete this. This old Windows can only be deleted the way I'm showing you now. So what you should do is hit clean up system files and when we get to the next step i'll get back to you welcome back now you can see after a second scan it found previous windows installation 11.6 gigabyte uh, recycle bin so we're gonna select that you know everywhere where you see some megabytes or kilobytes you will just select that you know and hit for okay for removal and then delete files so now this windows is in fact a fresh install and you have all your files back so that is how to fix this connect 
HD audio driver. It was not easy. I know it was very controversial. I know, but this is the only way how we can do it. So peeps, that was it. Uh, we are back to new. If you want to see how I, you know, set up my system, uh, you know, as a video editing and audio editing system and also pimped with some nice goodies in it, then you must watch my video, the one under this one, you know, uh, pimping Windows 7 from basic to you know fantastic and 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 very beautiful so check that one out it's very very uh um educational because i also show how you can get these uh things without even having links and just go find them and you know i show you what uh, you must search for etc etc at least in this video we got back to original you know the system is back we are activated we uh, installed the lost driver the driver that did not want to work anymore and uh, of course i will put uh, this driver you know this little file i will sip it put it on my media media fire and when you unpack it you will only find these drivers that you need without the two setup files so you cannot go hit that setup file just in case you know uh, and then you just point to this driver and then you will have the right driver for Windows 7 and I think also for Windows 10 because this also worked on under Windows 10 so it's been tested it worked fine uh, check my video uh, Toshiba L100 it's still a very fine machine if you can find one don't hesitate to buy it you know it's fast it's good it's Windows 10 supported so go for it and if you can find it with a legal Windows 7 license just like how I did then you are also a winner thanks again for watching and till my next video please of course if you like this video uh, like it and subscribe to my channel if you are new and see you in my next video bye bye